Oh yeah. Oh, it's big, it's big, it's big. That's the biggest flatty I've ever seen in my whole life. G'day everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. The boys at my local Complete Angler have actually hooked me up with a rod to test out, try and review. The rod goes by the name of Sweeter, and it's a seven foot six, one to three kilo rod. I'm gonna be chucking around this little lure to start with to hopefully get some brim, but later on we might move on to some bigger lures and hopefully some bigger fish. So let's get into it. Right, first lure I'm throwing around for these brim is this pro lure in the color camo. They call them chubbies or cranks, either one. But I can see a lot of fish. They're not very big, but hopefully there's a few out further. Oh, yep. Oh. This feels like a big flatty, I think. Well, not big, but it's a flatty. Huh? It's a brim or a 60 centimeter flathead, easy. Look at the mark on the water. Oh. It's a flathead, I'm gonna lose this. It's too big. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh! <laughs> How's that? She is gonna go. What are we looking at, Pat? 58. 58 centimetre flooded. Not bad. We'll get a couple photos and she'll go back in the drink. Alright, just going to swim this girl for a little bit. 58 centimetres, but that is an absolute chunky fish. That is my hand on its head. It is so well fed here. We're just going to let her get her breath back and she'll be on her way. There she goes. That's that little lure we're using. This little pro lure, chubby or crank, whatever you want to call it. Just chucking around on the sand flat for some brim after we've been working these trees. And yeah, just got it done. So after that first fish on the new rod by Sweeter. First, first, first impressions. Very, very nice action. Very tippy. I like it a lot. Because we're fishing the sand flat for brim, and if there's going to be big flatted here, I'm going to take this little pro lure off and I might chuck on a bigger lure to entice a bigger fish. So once again, shout out to the boys at Complete Angler because I'm absolutely loving it. All right, so I've decided to take this little lure off and chuck on this Bastet Sugar Deep, 95 mil. Okay. This lure right here works the exact same as a Daiwa double clutch. Give it a twitch and a pause. So we're going to be chucking this out on that sand flat and see what we can get. Hopefully entice a big flathead to bite. Bro, there's a flatty line. Oh no, stick there. There's a big branch there. Oh yeah. Oi Pat. Oh, it's big, it's big, it's big, it's big, it's big. Oh my, I can see it. Oh no. Really big. Really big, I watched it eat it. It's 80 centimetres, easy. Hold on, hold on, hold on, chill, chill, chill. I've got to keep its head in the water, it's skitzing out.
Hold on, where do I get this up? I have to take it all the way down here. Oh my. Oh. It's shaking so much. My heart's racing. Boys at Complete Angler, you wanted to see a lizard? I'm giving you a lizard. I've got to get it up on that sand, sand bit. I'm shaking, bro. My heart's racing. Watch out. Bro, that's a monster. Move up in the boat. Hold my rod. I can't lift it. It's so fat. Oh! oh bro! Holy! That's the biggest flatty I've ever seen in my whole life. How's this for a lizard? 88 or 89. 89. 89 centimetres. There's that head. Man, the fish in here are so fat. Bro. I told you this is the spot. Woo! All right. Let's get some photos and we'll get her back in the water. Come down on your knees. Oh. How was that for a big, big flathead in the lake? All right. 89 centimetre flathead in the lake on that little gold lure you see in this corner of its mouth. The hooks are absolutely bent. But guys, look at this fish. What a true estuary giant. We're gonna get some quick photos and we're gonna get her back because she's a big, big female and these females deserve respect. We've had this girl out of the water for a bit of time, so let's get her back. While we're letting her get her breath back, I thought I would share a few things. Every flathead over 70 centimeters is proven female and spawn up to millions and millions of eggs per year. These fish are once in a lifetime fish and it's super important when you get one to always put them back as they are the breeders. Okay, she'll let me know that she wants to go by doing that, that little kick. Off you go, girl. What a true estuary lizard. Woo! Don't know how I've got this GoPro to balance on that tiny stick, but it is. All right, I just thought I'd give you all a rundown on the gear that I'm using. I'll start off with the rod. Got a message the other day on Instagram from my local complete angler, and they've actually hooked me up with this sweeter, swider. I don't exactly know how you say it. Never heard of this brand of rod, but it handled that fish like an absolute dream. It's a seven foot six rod, one to three kilos. It's got a really, really nice bendy rod tip, which is key for working your lures and fighting those big, big fish, as you just seen. For my reel, I'm just using a Daiwa Legolas, 2000 size, just a nice little spin reel with eight pound braid, 10 pound leader. And the lure is this 95 millimeter Bastet Sugar Deep in the color black and gold. 